This is part three. This is called a solar spotter. It's a or a sun spotter. It's a solar telescope. Hopefully you can hear me. And uh, it projects the sun down here. There's a lens up here. And three mirrors. Comes through the lens there. There's a mirror down here. That mirror bounces the light over to this mirror. And that mirror bounces up here to this mirror. And through the focuser here. Right now we have one sunspot. Takes about five seconds to, or five minutes to set this up. As you can tell, I'm not a broadcast uh, person. So, all right, let me, let me go into, uh, YouTube here on my iPad. YouTube here on my iPad. Okay. YouTube here on my iPad. Ah, we got a... So, I guess you can hear me. And I'm just going to move it over a little bit. It's very easy to place the sun in the center. There's a little, let's see, what do they call it? They call it a, a grommet up here that sticks up. First you point it towards the sun and you wait until the shadow disappears on the grommet. Let me turn it around so you can see what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a grommet right here, and here's the lens, it's a, uh, I believe a two inch lens, and there's two little holes on each side of the lens, that's basically a pinhole camera, that's used also to, to align the sun onto the platform down there. So what you do is you just you just turn this until the grommet, there's no shadow, sticks up about that high. And then let's see. Move that a little bit more. Okay. And those little, two little pinhole, pinholes project images on each side of this mirror of the sun to where we put it in the middle of this little bullseyes there. And there's your sun. This is made by, or produced by, Science First slash Star Labs. They're in Florida. And I'll put their website in the description when I'm done. Right now it's at half price. Uh, hundred and thirty-six dollars right now. It's well worth, well worth the money. If you just, if you just want to look at the sun real quick, if you know there's some sp sun spots on the sun, 
and you want to look, like I said, it's well worth the money. It's well made. Uh, it's like eight or nine layers of laminate here of plywood, or I guess it's plywood, and it's all slacked, and everything's machined very well. Uh, carrying up here, you carry it up here, and, and it, there, it comes with a um, cover to cover the telescope or the solar scope, I should say. Let's see. I can see you guys in the chat room, but I can't read it because I'm outside here and and uh, we just got one person watching right now. That's all right. I had like seven or eight on it before I restarted the stream, but this is a, like I said, it's it's selling for. $136, I believe. I, I believe I paid $200 or $230, so it's kind of like half price right now. Uh, you'll see them online for $500. Um, I don't know the reasoning for that, but people want to make money on top of other people. Like I said, the light from the sun comes through here, down to a mirror, right here. From that mirror, it bounces off to this mirror. And then from that mirror, it goes up to this mirror up here at the top. Comes through a focuser with a lens in it. And your image is produced. It's about a three-inch image. It's pretty big. I can see one sunspot. And it took me less than five minutes to set this whole thing up. I don't endorse products or anything like that. Uh, on live streaming or anything or tell people you need to buy this or that or somebody gives me something to look at. I don't do that stuff. But when I got this, I thought, boy, something easy for the whole family. You, could, uh, you know, your whole family uh, or a group of people, if you're at like a star party or something like that, they could just look, all look at the same time. Like I said, there's a nice little sunspot on the sun right now. And there's instructions on the back here. Everything is covered up. All the mirrors, you cover up the mirrors when you're done, and you cover up the lens with the lens cap. And you want to put the cover on. Because you don't want to get any dust on that little focusing lens right here. Because what happens is you'll have like humongous sunspots from the dust. It's a pretty good size sunspot. Over there is a camping tent that I keep a larger telescope. Right now there's a 11 inch Celestron telescope in there on a their largest uh, drive mount. Uh, what is that? It's the uh, CGXL. And I keep it out here all the time. I just take the scope off when I'm done. And I cover it with uh, 
a camper's tent has gone through so uh, sun snow storms. Let me pronounce that right. Not sun storms. Winds. You know, I I do watch it as as it the winds kick up, and, and I even had hell storm storms. Well, let's get the sub back in here. See, like I said, it's it's fairly easy. And that's all controlled uh, via Wi-Fi. In my little, I have a little astronomy man cave down there where I do live streaming. But, you know, people spend hundreds of dollars to try to cover up their scopes and uh, $39. You may have to change it every two years because the sun beats down on the uh, nylon and kind of, you know what happens with that. It deteriorates the, ni the nylon a little bit. And I, I happen to have a... Uh, What do you call it? Uh, a gas uh, cooker cover, extra gas cooker cover. So I put that on. It's made out of canvas. It kind of helps helps a little bit with the let's see uh, snow and the hell and everything. Takes like five minutes to set that up. I just keep the mount in there 24-7, 365. Hope to get back out here tomorrow and uh, take a look at this uh, sunspot again. You don't have to have this elaborate setup here. This is like a uh, lazy Susan top here. And this is a heavy duty. Celestron tripod here. I think these sell for, uh, for around six, seven, eight hundred dollars. I just put it right on top of there and I just, you know, I can just turn it. And I had a lazy Susan, so I just say, hey, I'll just put it on top of there, make it easy. I could bring the uh, camera up over here, but I don't think it's going to show you the sunspot. But there's definitely a sunspot there. And I think it's well worth $136. Now, this is something you don't want kids to play with. Number one, you know, damage. Number two, this is a live sun here. And we don't want kids looking at a live sun like this. Unless it's on this down here on the, on the platform here. We don't want to ruin ruin your eyes I think we, I think we see there's there goes my dog uh, that's uh, Tucker he's a Swiss mountain dog he's about 140 pounds and Chilo is a little chihuahua, about 7, 10 pounds. He thinks he's the uh, king of the roost. Hey, hey, quiet. You too. <laughs> like I said, I'll put the uh, link if you, if you want to buy one of these. 
don't buy them from science first. If you buy them from anybody else, they're going to be over five hundred dollars. If you buy them on Amazon, they're going to be over five hundred dollars. Science First has them at one hundred and thirty-six dollars right now. If I, I'd buy another one if if if, if it would be uh, worth a while, but I don't think so. But boy, it really does the job. Listen to my dogs. <laughs> Come on. Come here, Tucker. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. See if I can get him in the picture here. Come here. Come over here. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a biggie. He's a goodie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, watch that cow. <laughs> he is so gentle. We're going to get you a bath out of here when it's, when it's in the next week or so. And then, of course, chill all the little chihuahuas sitting over there just staring at me like, They get along really, really good. Of course, I'm getting into the trees right now. That's all right. Hey. Yeah, I can see a nice little sunspot. There's a uh, website that posts daily photos of the sun, of course, with sunspots, and I also will post that link. It's called uh, Space Weather, and they pr primarily deal with the sun, and they have a daily image of the sun, and they'll tell you how many sunspots are there. Go there first before you set this up. So I'll post a, a link to that too. Yeah, it just rides in this cradle right here. And then when you're done, you level it out, put the caps back on the mirrors and everything. And uh, put the cover on top of it. We're losing our image of the sun. Let me see if I can move this camera so you can see what I'm seeing. Or my iPhone, as I should probably say. There's the sun. I don't know if you can see that little sunspot in the center there, but let me put it over here. Let's see if I can put it over here so you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, okay. Like I said, I just turned the Lazy Susan a little bit. Put the sun back in the center. Oh, 
finally, here in Denver. Clear skies. It was supposed to uh, snow yesterday. <laughs> I guess it snowed up in the mountains, but we didn't really get snow down here. We got a nice rain for a couple of days. And when I went on to my Facebook page, they said five years ago, five or six years ago, they always put a, it's what you were doing five or six, you know, in the past, and they showed a image of May 5th or 7th or 8th or whatever it was. Yeah, it was snowing. I think we're done with snow here. I hope so. I'm going to do some yard work. I'm going to sign off right now. So, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll put a link where you can buy this. And like I said, uh, it's half off right now, $136, and it's well worth the money. The construction is unbelievable. Uh, it should last for many, many years. Um, and I'll also put a uh, link to uh, space weather so you could see if the sun has any sunspots and if it's worth setting this up. You can set this up on a balcony or whatever, an apartment balcony, or, and uh, put it in your back of your car, or if you go somewhere and pull it out, set it up. It'll be the head of the party. So, right now I'm going to sign off. Thank you all for uh, showing up. And I'll see you tonight. I think, I think there is a flyover of the Chinese space station. Tonight, I'll have to take a look. Uh, a couple days ago, there was a really nice flyover, so I'll do a live stream tonight of the flyover of the space station. Uh, the International Space Station, in a, in a few days, will flip to the evening, not at 5 o'clock in the morning, so... And the Hubble, um, no viewing, I don't think, for the next week or so, or flyovers. And Starlinks, we've had a really couple good live streams of Starlinks. Uh, I think the first one that we did about a week ago just happened during a meteor shower. And I was pointing in the right direction. It was about 60 of these uh, satellites flying across the sky in formation. And then a, a couple of days ago, we had about 120 of them. And hopefully soon we'll have another flyover of the Starlink satellites. They're sending up all these Starlinks for internet. I lost my earpiece, so I'm going to sign off right now. You all take it easy. We'll see you later.